guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my sign by sign play by play for the full moon in Capricorn, June 24th, 2021, and how it is impacting each of the 12 signs. And this video specifically is for ascendance in Scorpio and to a lesser extent, sun and moon in Scorpio. And I am taking a look at the planet Saturn because Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn where this eclipse is taking place. So we really need to look at the positioning of Saturn and the positioning of I said eclipse, I meant full moon, and the positioning of the full moon so that we can understand how these two themes are working together and what we can expect to see unfolding with the full moon this week. So for you guys, ascendance in Scorpio, this means that you have had Saturn transiting your fourth house for quite a while. So I imagine that there has been some type of conflict, some type of struggle, some type of frustration going on in regards to your home, your family, your connection to your place of origin, to your hometown, to your homeland, to your mother, um, something along these lines stifling you and holding you back from moving forward in a direction that you feel like is more authentic and that you want to liberate yourself in going forward in the future of your life. Something relating to the home, maybe it's your home itself, or like I said, the mother, the family, um, where you come from, your, you know, your roots, your origins. These are the things that are being um, highlighted by Saturn. And Saturn it really wants you to reevaluate the foundation of these things and make sure that it is a solid foundation and it's the foundation that you want to build going forward for the next 30 years saturn moves in 30 year cycles so right now in terms of the type of family that you want to have going forward in terms of the type of um mother that you want to be in terms of the type of home that you want to have and you know reevaluating your experience with those things in your own life and how you want to make those for yourself going forward. Sort of the themes that Scorpio ascendants have been dealing with while Saturn has been transiting their fourth house. Now the full moon in Capricorn is coming into your third house. So the third house, this is the house of, this is the house ruled by Gemini and Mercury. This is all about communications, ideas, understandings, um, what we're learning. And so really, you guys are going to be, um, there's going to be a light shown or an emphasis on what you've learned, c communications that you've received, information that you've gotten, facts, figures, um, things coming through, conversations with other people, media, social media, short trips, something is going to be highlighted for you in these Gemini realms, talking, having conversations, something's going to come up in terms of information, messages for you guys, that's really going to give you a gauge on how your how this fourth house Saturn retrograde process is going for you and what the limitations and the frustrations that you're experiencing in this area of your life are creating for you or yeah so you know it, it could be like you're feeling very restricted and very um, like you want to break away from what you've always known from your place of origin from the beliefs that you've always had from your traditions that you've always held you want to go in a different direction and do something new and this is manifesting in the new information that you're learning what you're saying what you're communicating with the full moon in the third house it might be you saying things that um, are just surprising to other people or you know an emphasis on what your ideas are what your understandings are now and how those relate to these issues that are going on in your family regarding your home regarding your mother or regarding just the place that you're from and the people that you're associated with from your hometown or that you've been connected with for a really long time. Um, these are the two dynamics that are at play. There is a light being shown on something. Either you get, you are gaining a new idea, a new understanding that helps you to move forward in this um, change that you're trying to make or this reformation reformation that you're trying to make in terms of your family and how you do family and how you build foundations in your home environment either gaining new information that can help you in this reformation process to build that better foundation and get a better direction of the way that you want to take your family life going forward 
Or maybe these frustrations that you're experiencing in your family life are causing you to seek out new information that's coming to you this time at this time that can help you change your perspectives, change your viewpoints, um, and just get like alternative um, ideas about what changes need to be made, made to help you move forward in the new direction that you want to build the foundation of your family and your home going forward. So these are the themes for um, Scorpio risings during this time, the fourth house of the home where Saturn is, restrictions, frustrations in terms of how you really want to move forward, holding you back in some type of way, and the full moon coming into the third house, bringing you messages, information, um, communications about the status of where you are in this reformation process of the things related to the home, the mother, the family. So that is what I have for you guys, Scorpios. If you're interested in finding out like the whole overall context of the energetics for this full moon in Capricorn, check out my video for June 24th, 2021, where I talk all about the full moon in Capricorn. And you can just get more insight there, apply it to this little video, and then you'll have a greater understanding that you can apply to your life. So you can Kind of anticipate what's coming and view things in a more appropriate context as you go through these changes that are coming up. So um, if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and leave me comments, and tune in tomorrow for my astrological outlook of the day. See you later, Scorpios!